it was like, oh, yes, I get to eat again. Do we get to choose between fruits for the week or a five-star dinner? Yay! Yay! We choose the five-star dinner. Yay! Do we get alcohol in exchange for giving up the pool table? Yay! Yay! The only thing we can really eat this week is meat and beer. It's kind of like the Atkins diet for alcoholics. We're going to be drunk and skinny. And that might not be a bad thing. Take it, Josh! Take it, Josh! There's no way she's not nominated you know. You have to say, look, um, Erica, this is something I can only discuss with you, but you can't discuss with Will, but I think Danielle's the bigger threat. And the way that, you know, Will thinks of playing this game is get rid of your, the, your bigger threat while you can, because the time's winding down fast. And Danielle's going to flip on you real quick. Mike Boogie and I had a quick conversation, and I said, you better become Lance Showmance at about 9 p.m. tonight. So he needs to get up in that HOH room and get Erica influenced, if you know what I mean. See, the thing is, she'll never think of Danielle as a bigger target than Janelle. Let, let her do her nominations. Mm -hmm. Let us do our magic in the POV. Okay, but make sure we don't get nominated, dude. We're not. You sure? She thinks she's in Chilltown, dude. I'm telling you. The only thing, the only thing I'm worried about is she says, I got to put Will up as the pawn. But I'm just going to say the last three pawns have left. Yeah. No way. Janelle's going up. I'm just making sure us two aren't the other two names. Fine. Am I really putting my future in Mike Boogie's lovemaking ability? This might not be pretty. You gotta work that this time. I'll, I'll work it. Don't worry. I've been thinking about this for a long time, and well, this is your chance to have a relationship with the heartbreaker from Big Brother All-Stars. And I don't know why you're so afraid of me. I won't bite hard. As if uh, Janelle wasn't enough of a handful for him, Will uh, decided to make love to the uh, camera in the backyard. You know I love you, and I don't mean a little love. In a whole I'm not gonna break your heart. I love you. At first blush, you think I'm making sweet, sweet love to a camera, but I'm not. It's to you, America. If I could rewrite the alphabet, I'd put the U in the eye together. You want a little kiss? Come here. Give me a kiss. You do not know what the doctor's doing. I guess it'd probably be pretty hard to resist, but he is a very uh, charming individual. And if he's not talking to you, he'll talk to anything that he can. You give me a kiss? Come here. Come here. Stop being shy. Stop it. No one's looking. You're naughty. You're naughty. Give me a look. No relationship is perfect, but my relationship with that camera is as perfect as one can be. Hey, can you rub, rub my shoulders a little bit? Rub them. Oh. Wait, where are you going? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going anywhere yet. Not yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, what? What are you doing? Come on, baby. Stop. She was playing a little hard to get, and a uh, man's got to do what a man's got to do. It's not you. It's me. I just can't be in this relationship anymore. And I think that we need to take some time off. I'm sorry. Just kidding. I love you and I miss you. Please take me back. Please, I love you. Nominations are today. The person I feel the most sorry for in this house, believe it or not, is Janelle. People are just constantly yelling at her and just like, God, she's got to make her own decisions. Janelle's coming right after me, but at least she's admitting it. Whereas Danielle is trying to get other people to slowly do her work until she just shows up at the finals. I, I would rather, I mean, at the end of the day, 
in a perfect world, I'd rather get rid of, ideally, Danielle first, then Janelle. Eric and I were in the HOH room, and I was just planting some seeds. Maybe we should start considering the possibility of possibly considering getting rid of Danielle. The weirdest thing is Danielle can flip her emotions on and off and do what she and will and she will do what she can do to win this money for her family. Absolutely. And to redeem what happened to her last time. Ab absolutely. And I feel like she will change what she has to do to get rid of anybody. That's why she's so shady. If she wins the next HOH, I'm afraid she's gonna mix things up. She can come right after you. She won't she won't come after me. I don't know. She's a straight shooter. Well, yes and no. She, I mean, she what she does is she does wordplay so that she can be like, I never told you that. I told you this. If Danielle makes it in the final two, she's going to win this. I know. Danielle probably wants to get rid of me next. Yep. I'm the closest to her. This is winning. the irony of this game. You could beat Janelle in the finals. Mm -hmm. You can't beat Danielle in the finals. Your closest ally could be your biggest competition. We both agree that, you know, Danielle is probably the biggest threat at this point to win the game. She's a huge threat. Yeah, what can you do? Do the best you can. I think that I will most definitely be nominated today, again. The entire house has been trying to get rid of me for weeks now. But, like, I just haven't died yet. <laughs> My gut feeling is that maybe I'm going to be able to dodge another bullet during nominations today. Lance Showmance, i.e. Mike Boogie, spent the night in the HOH with Erica, and I'm hoping he kind of made some magic happen. Not that kind of magic. I'm just hoping he kept me from getting nominated. There is no chance that Erica will nominate me. She is falling in love with me, and I have her definitely right where I want her. I don't see myself going anywhere this week. It is absolutely so difficult to choose people for nomination. It's a huge responsibility, and it's a, it's a responsibility that I take very, very seriously. I don't know until it happens. She told me I was saved. She told me she was going to nominate me. I think she has bigger fish to fry. A blonde fish and possibly a fish that has a PhD. I think I've got an alliance with just about everybody, but I don't get to go to the meetings. It is tough to trust people when you are not invited to their alliance meetings because you don't know what they're saying. I know that when you nominate two people, one of them could possibly be leaving the house, which, you know, the dream of winning the money is over. So it's something that I'm not taking lightly at all. Again, nomination ceremony. I lost a lot of sleep last night trying to make this decision. This was very difficult for me. Um, I'm an emotional person, therefore I'm an emotional player. I can't, you know, separate the two, unfortunately. Um, but um, I took this decision very, very seriously, and um, it's just strategy. With that said, I'll pull the first key. Yeah, you are safe. Thanks, Erica. You're welcome. Mike, you're safe. <laughs>